What's up guys, Jalan from Hard Gainer Fitness here. I just got back from the grocery store and I got everything that you need to make protein shakes for weight gain. I got the perfect recipe for you. Just follow me. What's up YouTube? Welcome to Hard Gainer Fitness where we give you all the tips and tools that you need to defeat yourself and crush that scale. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any important videos. All right guys, first off, what you need to make this smoothie is oats, whipped cream, water, cinnamon, peanut butter, almond milk, and some protein. All right, so substitutions that you can make to this smoothie if you wanna try it out and you don't like all the ingredients that are here. If you want the drink to be colder, you can use ice instead of water. Also, if you don't like peanut butter, try substituting that with coconut oil. Great way to get in extra fats and extra calories. And then almond milk. If you don't like almond milk, use regular milk. For some reason, I've developed an intolerance to, uh, to regular milk. I don't know why, but over the past few years, I just can't drink it. So now I drink almond milk works just fine for me. So frequency, I drink this smoothie every single day. It's a part of my meal plan that I have for right now that I'm using to put on some weight. I've gained 10 pounds in just under two months, I'm trying to do a lean bulk, so one to two pounds per week. And I've done it, including this smoothie in my meal plan. Now this is not something that you drink like once a week or once every other day. I drink this every single day. Usually first thing in the morning, I'll have this smoothie. Even though this is a weight gain smoothie, make sure you still have meals throughout the rest of the day. This is just to substitute one of the meals that you would usually have throughout the day. Having a smoothie helps you to be able to be mobile and not to be constrained to sitting down eating one meal uh, for an hour or 30 minutes or however long it may take you to eat. That's why I include a smoothie into my meal plan, sometimes even two, um, but they're really helpful and really, it's a really easy way to get in calories without having to sit down and chew. So you know, sometimes you just get tired of chewing after you've been eating so much every single day and force feeding, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's talk serving size for everything. I have one serving of almond milk, which is basically one cup. I have one cup of water. I have three servings of oats. And I take one scoop of protein. And I have one serving of peanut butter. <laughs> it's not open yet. <laughs> Didn't even know. Don't try to act like you don't do it too. Cause I know you said ew when I licked it. All right, and then that's it. Oh yeah, you can use orange juice instead of uh, milk and water if you want extra flavor. There's not any specific reason why I use milk. There's usually, whenever I drink too much orange juice, the acid really starts to hurt my throat and my stomach. So I'll have it maybe, maybe like once a week. Sometimes I'll throw orange juice in there instead of this, just for extra flavor because it does taste well, like way better. Um, so if you try this and you're like, this is nasty, it's too bland, make sure you try, to, try it with some orange juice. It tastes 10 times better. But after you put those things in, then you have basically the ingredients that you need. Ooh, this is good. Uh, to, <laughs> to hit the macros that's included with this. So the macros that's included with this is, it's got 45 grams of protein, 107 grams of uh, carbs, and then 30 grams of fats. And the protein that I use has uh, 22, 22 grams of protein per scoop. So. Whatever protein that you're using, you know, I know some have 24, some have like 30, uh, whatever the case may be. So yours might be a little bit different, but you're gonna have around 40 to 50 grams of protein. All right, so you got all that in. Now I'll throw whipped cream in just for extra flavor. I'll throw some cinnamon on top too. And there's no specific amount. I just put in as much as I feel would be needed for as much flavor that I want. Adjust to your preference. If you want a whole lot of cinnamon, put a whole lot. If you want a whole lot of whipped cream, put a whole lot. Uh, these two are really just fillers just to give it extra flavor. Um, and if you want even more flavor, like I said earlier, try the orange juice and use honey as well. Honey also gives you some extra calories, so nothing wrong with that. Extra flavor and extra calories, so you can't go wrong with it. You know I me? Mean? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do it up. Oh 
almost turned the blender on at the top. Alright guys, and that's pretty much it for the smoothie. Like I said, I've been drinking this every day. It's helped me to put on 10 pounds. Fairly quickly, if I say so myself. Try it out, see if you like it. Question of the day. What would you name this smoothie? I think I would name it like a tropical butter blast or something like that. What would you name it? Let me know. If you've been watching any of the vlogs, then you'll know that I really do drink this smoothie every single day. So yeah, that's it, man. Make sure you try this smoothie out. Use it to help you put on some weight. Don't forget to eat the rest of your meals throughout the day. Um, as always, you know who it is, man. Jalan with Hard Gainer Fitness, bringing you all the tips and tools that you need to defeat yourself and crush the scale. You already know what time it is, man. It's time to grow. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.